Hi, today we will see about PIR sensor. PIR stands for passive infrared sensor. It is also called pyroelectric or IR motion sensor. This is the main heart. This sensor called pyroelectric sensor. This can detect level of infrared radiation. Every object emits some low level radiation and hot object radiate more radiation. The PIR sensor itself have two slots in it. Each slot is made of special material that is sensitive to IR. When sensor is ideal, both slots detect same amount of IR, the ambient amount radiation from the room or wall or outdoor. When a warm body like human or animal passes by, it first intercepts half of the PIR sensor which case a positive differential changes between the two halves. When the warm body leaves the sensing area, the reverse happens, whereby the sensor generates a negative differential changes. These change pulse are what is detected. This is how this sensor can detect motion. From here you can adjust the sensitivity. By this time delay. Here is the pins. By adding jumper here, you can active single trigger mode. When motion is detected, it will trigger and continuous de detection will be blocked. And by adding jumper here, you can active repeatable trigger mode. That means it will trigger at every motion. Now let us interface this sensor with Arduino. I wrote a simple sketch, then upload this to the Arduino. Now let us make connection. For that, connect VCC pin of sensor to 5V, ground pin to ground and output pin to 10 number pin. Then connect negative pin to ground. Positive pin of LED goes to 13 number pin via register. Now let's power up this with the help of USB cable and test it. As you can see it worked just fine. I attach simple LED at output pin. You can also connect relay module and you can make automatic lamp. You can adjust the sensitivity. You might know we can use this sensor without Arduino. Now let's make it. For that you have to connect VCC pin to 5V, ground pin to ground and uh, signal pin to base of the transistor. I will use BC547 transistor. You can use any NPN transistor. Then take a one LED with current emitting resistor and connect its positive terminal to VCC. Then negative terminal to collector of transistor and connect emitter to ground. Now let us test it. As you can see I will supply 5 volt to it. And this is the result. As you can see with movement of my hand LED will glow up. Range of this particular PIR sensor is up to 10 meter according to Wikipedia. There is different types of PIR sensors are available in market. You can choose according to your requirement. I hope you learned something from this video. If so, like, share with your friends and subscribe. Thank you for watching.